Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we will be discussing how to use the Mage Synergy in Magic Chess Season 12. If you enjoy and or learn something new, make sure to like the video. And if you like the type of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let us begin. You can find a picture tutorial for the Synergy in the community tab of the channel and on my socials. As of the current patch, the two 4, 6 mage synergy increases the magic damage of allied heroes by 40, 90, 145% respectively. The heroes are Kagura, Faramis, Esmeralda, Julian, Kadita and Cyclops. The mage synergy has 3 star cores. Fire, which causes the carrier's skills to do extra damage to nearby enemies. Water, which freezes a random enemy when the carrier does damage with their skills and thunder which disarms an enemy hero for three seconds on the basic attack after casting a skill the mage synergy is one of the most difficult synergies to build in season 12 and this is because they do not have a one gold hero another factor that contributes to the difficulty is that three out of the six heroes are four gold and above because of this, you need to use multiple supporting synergies to carry you through the early to mid game. The two most popular of these are Forsaken Light and Scarlet Shadow. Because Esmeralda is not available in the selection stage, Xavier is used as the base hero for the mage synergy, even though he is not a mage. Starting with him allows you to build with the Forsaken Light synergy by adding Yin. But the Forsaken Light does not have a 1 gold hero and 2 out of the 4 are rare heroes. So the issue of the starting hero is solved but the early game is still difficult. This is where the Scarlet Shadow comes in. Using Hayabusa and Kagura to trigger 2 Scarlet Shadows will help you survive the early game. The recommended early game lineup is Hayabusa, Kagura, Faramis, Yin, Xavier and Esmeralda. The synergies triggered with these six are two mage with Kagura, Faramis and Esmeralda, two Forsaken Light with Yin and Xavier, and two Scarlet Shadow with Hayabusa and Kagura. Using this base lineup to survive the early game, you will then pick the mage star core after the placement stage's creep defense round. Picking this star core will upgrade your mage synergy to four. The best mages for each star core are Fire The best mage for the fire core is Cyclops. This is because his skill does damage more than once. This allows him to trigger the star core effect more times than other mages in a single skill cast. Other mages with multiple damages on their skill casts are Faramis and Kadita. Faramis being able to split damage between multiple enemies and Kadita being able to damage enemies 3 times with her skill. Cyclops and Kadita are rare however, and thus are rarely used, so Faramis is your best bet. The Water Core The best mages for the Water Core are the same as the one for the Fire Core, as both cores activate each time skills deal damage, not necessarily each time a skill is cast. The Thunder Core requires the carrier to hit the enemy with a basic attack after a skill cast to trigger the effect. For this reason, you want to equip it on a hero with a very low mana requirement. The mage with the lowest mana requirement is Kagura, having only 25 mana. Esmeralda is another good option even though she has a fairly high mana requirement. She is a melee hero, which means she will be taking damage and gaining mana faster. She also does 2 hits per basic attack which effectively halves her mana requirement. I hope that makes sense. I understand that equipping any and every mage core on Kagura is very tempting. I do it all the time. However, I recommend resisting that temptation for a very simple reason. The Scarlet Shadow cores are much more efficient on Kagura. Water restores 80% mana after a kill and Earth restores 100% damage dealt as HP both of which can make Kagura more deadly. I recommend equipping all the mage cores on Esmeralda, which could work too. 
However, as with Kagura, the Ablaze Bounty's cores fit her more perfectly. I do recommend equipping Fire and Water on Faramis, since Faramis only has one core faction. Thunder can go on either Esmeralda or Kagura. Now that you've picked your star core, it is time to obtain the other mages. I recommend doing this at commander level 7 as you have an even chance of getting all heroes. However, you can remain at commander level 5 or 6 if you intend on running with a Kagura hyper carry strategy. You can replace Yin with Julian as both are in the Forsaken Light faction. And if you get Karita, you can replace Xavier to complete the mage synergy. Now you have reached the second star core. You will get three of Saber, Nature Spirit, Forsaken Light, Ablaze Bounties, and Scarlet Shadow. I forgot to mention it in the star core video, but the second star core you get will usually be related to your first star core. That is, it will be a faction or role of your first star core. Of the five star cores available, the two with the highest viability are Scarlet Shadow and Forsaken Light, and you want to equip them on Kagura and Xavier respectively. Another core you can use is the Blazing Bounties core to allow Esmeralda to join the ranks of Hypercarries. Esmeralda has been fairly overshadowed the new season by the new heroes and synergies, but she still has the same power she had during her superhero days. In the picture guide, I mentioned equipping the Bounties Wind core on Claude. However, after some reconsideration, I found that it can work on Esmeralda. The attack speed will help her immensely. After picking your second core, you can either try adding more synergies or remain at commander level 7 or 8 and upgrade all the heroes you have. When using Budding Blossom, that is Rhea's third skill, you want to use the skill on Kagura. Scarlet Shadow is the only synergy that is constant no matter what your second core is, therefore it will always be viable. You can also use the skill on Esmeralda if gold is what you fancy. When using Go Kashum, that is Kaboom skill 1, you want to get the Mage Kashum. This makes it much easier to complete the Mage synergy since you now have an extra non-rare Mage hero. Remember Kashum is 2 gold which means he's not rare. Kashum does magic damage too, so using him with the Mage synergy means a lot of damage on his skill. When using the Midas touch, that is Buss's third skill, you want to get Cyclops with the skill. For this skill, however, you can use Saber Mage as opposed to playing with Forsaken Light and Scarlet Shadow. But I do not recommend doing this until late game when you get the second core. If you get the Saber core, then you can build Saber Mage. But until then, I recommend playing with Forsaken Light and Scarlet Shadow. Based on popular demand, I will explain in depth how to use Windfall, that is, Remy Skill 3. But before that, let us quickly discuss the builds. For Esmeralda, you want to use the tank set. For mages in general, the two most important items are Enchant Talisman and Concentrated Energy. Equip the Enchant Talisman on Xavier, Karita, Julian or Cyclops and equip the Concentrated Energy on Cyclops, Kagura or Esmeralda. Other magic items are good too. Equip physical items on Esmeralda. She does hybrid damage, so you can actually use physical items if you have no choice. Best woman privilege. Who is your favorite mage? Let me know in the comment section. Now back to Windfall. The skill does two things. The first is giving bonus gold each round. Two gold in the planning stage, three gold in the placements and showdown stage, and four gold from endgame upward. This is very easy to forget because of the second thing the skill does. Any gold left in your bank is taken from you and used to pay for commander level upgrades at the end of every round. The best way to describe this is paying in installments. If other commanders have to pay for commander level upgrades at once, Windfall allows you to pay for it a little at a time, although it is against your wish. Now you might be thinking, what will happen to my interest? To put it simply, you don't get any interest. This is discouraging for players who are used to interest, but you remember the first thing the skill does? It gives you bonus gold. The bonus gold is equivalent to the interest other commanders will have to stack. You get it for free. 
you can still save interest though we will get to that at the end first let us see how windfall relates to the mage synergy the beauty of this skill is that you can use it to rush to commander level 6 by the start of placement when most players are commander level 5 you do this by upgrading immediately the game starts remember you get 2 gold you then upgrade to commander level 5 on the next round then to 6 on the last round of the planning stage if you do not refresh the shop you can do this comfortably the starting hero is still Xavier when you get to commander level 6, you take your time refreshing the shop and buying the base heroes. You remember the base heroes that is Hayabusa, Yin, Kagura, Faramis, Xavier and Esmeralda. Remember that all your gold will be removed after the round. One thing you can do to get some extra gold is to make sure you always have zero gold in your bank by buying heroes from the shop before the end of your round, then selling them at the start of the next one. Now, at commander level 6, you continuously refresh and buy your heroes. If you want to use a Kagura Hyper Carry, you can stay at commander level 5 or 6 and look for her. But I do not recommend doing that with Windfall. Something bigger, like Kalita or Cyclops, is more appropriate. Now, here's how you do it. At commander level 6, the goal is to get all base heroes to 2 stars. Once you do this, stop refreshing and save your gold again. The goal now is to get to commander level 8 or 9, depending on if you want a 4 or a 5 gold hyper carry. But you remember you can't save interest? Well, you can, however, just for a round. Here's how. In the showdown stage, the basic rewards for a round is 7 gold. Remember that windfall gives you 3 gold in the showdown stage? This is a total of 10 gold every round in the showdown stage. And 10 gold means 2 gold as interest. Therefore, you will get a total of 12 gold every round, win or lose. Now, if you are lucky and are on a mad win streak, you can get up to 16 gold every round. With this much gold, upgrading your commander level will be a cinch. This is why I recommend getting the base heroes to 2 stars at least before starting your rush to commander level 9. So you will have at least two, 6 2 star heroes to carry. When you get to the commander level of your choice, you go back to spending every dime every round and building up your mages to 3 star. When you get to commander level 9, do not forget to drain your account every round as any leftover gold at commander level 9 is destroyed. I hope that explains the working principle of the windfall skill and I hope you understand how the mage synergy works and how to build it. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and or learned something new. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget you can check the description to see the picture tutorial for the mage synergy. In case you forget, in case you need a reminding. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.